Hello everyone. Uh, this is about uh, getting some functionality that uh, I like uh, in Ubuntu Linux. Uh, so specifically, uh, not so much the Compiz effects, but what Compiz, Compiz can do. For example, uh, they have multiple hot corners where you can assign a keyboard or a mouse click uh, to open and close windows. Um, I found something relatively close. Um, you can only use four corners, the top left and right and bottom left and right, but it's still pretty neat. So if I hover my mouse over to the top right, it should op it'll open my downloads folder. So there. And I can minimize that. And it's minimized in the Windows 7 uh, taskbar. And if I go up to the, sorry, if I go down to the bottom left, it'll open documents. Minimize that. Bottom right opens Windows Explorer. And the top left is a little program I use to clear the clipboard contents. So you can see there it's a clipboard cleared. Um, to find that, uh, it's called Hot Corners. Um, I want to get the exact site. It's on uh, Deviant. Oops. And there it is by Prisoner Seven. I'll put these uh, in the uh, links in the comments selection. It's only uh, 800 kilobytes or so, and you just download the file and you ex extract it to a folder and then you just run it and it sits in your I should get the magnifier going here if it's working today um, it sits in your um, system tray where is it? hello magnifier there it is okay should be a little easier right here by prisoner and you go to set it set up an info Erase all text in that box. Okay, so um, if you don't have anything, um, you, you want to empty anything in here. Um, however, what I did, instead of uh, using this to assign uh, shortcuts, I noticed that it creates a um, an information file in Documents. Hot corner, hot corner settings dot in a, open that. And for top right, I had the uh, C users and then my username and then downloads and, as you can see here, top left for the batch file cleaner, um, the, um, sorry, not the file cleaner, the clipboard clear. Uh, bottom right, the open Windows Explorer with a couple of uh, switches here, to open Explorer in the root directory and bottom left to open documents and I saved the file and just restarted uh, hot corners and it worked fine and uh, so if you leave everything don't touch any of this just leave it and just uh, close that window and another thing I have I'll uh, I'll zoom out to normal or Oops. There we go. Okay. Is uh, another thing I like, or you can get this in Mac OS, and it's it's not too hard to get for Windows. Is like the expose kind of look, or the kind of um, task manager, I guess, tasking. And you press uh, Control S, for example, and it brings up the the windows that you have open. And each one is assigned a number, like five, three, four. Um, and to minimize these, you just right click some, I mean, left click on the desktop. And uh, it's as simple as that. Um, let me open Explorer again. And we go back to this, S. 
So if you type, if you hit a number, so if you want to see Windows Explorer, you press two, and then if you want to switch Windows again, you can go to Documents, press four, or just click the mouse. And uh, if you want to clear the screen again, just click on the desktop. And then what else you can do is there's a few settings. Where is it here? Okay, it's called Switcher Settings. Switcher 2.0.0.2705. Okay. Um, you can have Tile, Dock, or Grid. I just left it at Tile. Appearance, Brightness, Animation, Duration, and stuff. The Window Style, Normal, Selected, whatever. Uh, filters. Shortcuts, okay, this is where you want to pay attention. Shortcut, keyboard shortcut. Um, I chose uh, left win key plus S, but you can change it through here, change. And there's also a mouse, add a mouse shortcut as well. Advanced, I wouldn't bother with right now. Uh, it's some neat stuff in there, but uh, just leave it as it is. And then of course, um, there's hide to uh, hide the uh, settings dialog. So that one um, is very simple to find. It's just you just type in switcher into Google or whatever your search engine is and it's the first site that comes up. Um, magnify it in a bit here and the address is uh, in sentinent.net Again, I'll put that in the comments description section. And um, they give you some uh, different uh, screens. And there's also, if I can drag this, awkward with the um, zoom. Uh, questions, overview, blog, or contacts. So under questions, it has a few answers. Like if you, how do you configure things? Like if you want to have a Alt Tab instead of um, a window, common uh, key a different combination. Um, five button mouse, and uh, it just goes through you know how to uh, set this up in different uh, formats. Okay, so, um, where's that crazy thing? I'll zoom back out, close this, close these down, and one thing I should mention is hot corners may get a, a antivirus alert or virus alert from your antivirus software. Um, that's because uh, it doesn't recognize what it is, but I checked it against Virus Total, uh, Malware Bytes, and um, Hitman Pro, and uh, nothing came up um, that looked very serious. That's or anything like that. So, uh, so to recap, just quickly, it's uh, of course you have Windows Zero. To re re recap quickly. I'll close these. Is uh, hot corners where you can you can assign more than just a document. You can assign a program or a web browser or your email. Just make sure you have to have the the exact path. Um, as I showed you in just a couple of minutes ago in the uh, settings in a file. Bring that back up, I guess. So you can't just say downloads. You have to have C users, your username downloads. And, ex and the same thing with programs or executables. You have to have the exact path as it would show up in Windows. Um, if not, it's going to crash on you. Okay? So I guess that's about it. Um, not much else to say. That's just uh, some of the stuff I enjoy in... Uh, using in Windows, I mean in, in uh, Ubuntu, and uh, I hope uh, you find this useful, and uh, if you have any comments or have other suggestions, it would be great. 
uh, please feel free to add a comment and as always have a good one and uh, thank you so much for watching and take care for now bye